Hey everyone, this is Ranger Mike from Huntington Beach State Park, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite worm. Yes, the parchment tube worm. Now this is a fairly common beach combing find. Uh, I get asked lots of questions about these, and, and honestly a lot of our visitors think it's a piece of, of paper uh, or trash washed up on the beach. But believe it or not, this is actually a home of a very specialized polychaete worm. So that word polychaete means many bristled, and there are hundreds, thousands of species that live in the oceans and salt marshes. So when this worm is alive, this tube is shaped like a U, and it's buried down in the silty sand with the narrow tips sticking out. The worm inside the tube uses special pistons called parapodia on its belly to create a flow of water going in one end of the tube and out through the other. In between, it manufactures a little mucus net, almost like a miniature basketball net, that it uses to trap little uh, microscopic animals out of the seawater that it feeds upon. Some of the features uh, you can notice about the worm, uh, besides the parapodia, you can see roughly where the, the mucus net would be. This end up here is the worm's head. And right there, that little opening, that is the mouth. So once the, the mucus net is full of food, it gets passed up to the worm's mouth and then gulp. That's how it eats. But the parchment tube worm doesn't live inside of its tube alone. They almost always share it with a pair of commensal crabs. These little crabs uh, are found only inside of the, the tube of the parchment tube worm. This is their entire world. This is all they know of the world around them. Uh, they're always found as a mated pair, a male and a female. And they were what, what we would call commensals. So commensals, they're not parasites. They're not actually feeding on the worm, uh, but they're not mutual. Uh, it's not a mutualistic relationship either because they're not really contributing anything. They're basically freeloaders. Uh, they're taking a little bit of the food that passes through the tube um, and, and basically getting shelter from the worm. Now, if you're not clear on why these are called parchment uh, tube worms, this is a tube that has fallen apart. And you can see it actually feels just like parchment paper and comes apart in layers. So you can easily understand why many visitors would think this is simply a bit of litter or paper that is washed up on the beach. Come out and join us at Huntington Beach State Park. We hope to see you soon.